Anyway, Grand Finals. Come on, I know everyone liked that down there. Nah, you guys, whatever, man. Yo, Scoop Dog just left, man, after he heard that. My man Scoop Dog said, enough's enough. This dude's stride. I am no longer a stridling. <laughs> Detract 20, we don't 20 swag points from this dude. If you can't this appreciate man. that down there. I know, I appreciate it. I, I appreciate it. All right, so we're going to go to the grand finals here. Comer Carrier coming oh, from the winner's yeah. side. CLG Void coming from the loser's side, which means CLG Void will have to win um, two sets of best of five. Okay. Whereas Comer Carrier only needs to win one. Yeah, but um, Void historically amazing at this matchup. I'm actually surprised that Comer Carrier started off with the Cloud Air. Uh, his edge guards on Cloud are just ridiculously efficient. But we'll see. Maybe Corner Curry just feels um, since security in the fact that he can kill really early in comparison to Sonic, so. Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. Again. Just whiff punish is shimmy, man. The stuff from Corner Curry, though, saving his limit to recover there. That's literally the ultimate shimmy, man. Because not only that he's moving back and forth, away but he's in a low profile situation so a lot of things will just simply go over his head yeah he whiff punches aerials and um whiff punches movement yeah sometimes. normals okay. i mean oh there it is again going right over that yeah, oh and the reverse effect. for it actually i think um the fact that boy's going for crouches instead of shield is actually going to throw off corner tree so much because he throws out those aerials to cross up shield all the time. Exactly. And it's due to them hitting shield what makes them do cross ups because a lot of times he goes for really ambiguous cross ups as well. Yeah. So now uh, Voice is going to be able to whip punish Conquery is one of his uh, better approach options with power. Oh, so oh that's the shield kill. though. Yeah. Caught Saw the shield drop. Yeah. Did someone that back here. All right. Good stuff from Conquery there. Close out the stop before Void got him off stage because he's really good at edge his character. Like Clean. this. Oh, nope, not gonna get it this time. Oh. Okay, good reversal from Void. Oh, doesn't get but, the double jump yeah. there, but still gets the landing regardless. Something that I really do enjoy seeing out of Void every single time. If he goes for a chase, he's still waiting for them to land so he can just time and get that clean bouncing first. Yeah. Gotta be careful though. Comer 3 holding on to limit. I'm actually surprised he didn't get punished that shield there for that forward air. Oh. <laughs> that smash was really yeah. good because um, the hitbox from the downer was already gone. So yes. Yeah, it. So and even block. when he has a short one, it still will get beat out because he's can't or tangible. intangible. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Up bear. No, not gonna get it. Going down the wire here. I can't believe Boy got from away from that up air. All right. Yeah, fair. And Comer Curry's gonna a little bit charge. Oh, he's about to get the whole thing. Yeah. This is the platform he's there for. Oh! And Canera hits him back to the stage, and that here, boy, let out. Oh, twice. Oh. oh! Yeah, so. Oh, man, yeah, he did blow on accident, it looked like. Yeah, so I think that what happened here was when Void had gone for that Nair, thought that Nair, though, would hit him back out. And so when it didn't hit him out, he was just like, ah, because he didn't expect him to go that trajectory. But yeah. because he was thinking about that time, at that point in time, he's so focused, he ended up dipping low and ca re-catching the ledge. That gives him a free dash attack off the ledge. Kono is going to take off that game one. Yeah, amazing um, awareness also from Kono to actually just go for the dash attack, knowing that strong move, and he hits under the ledge. So, yep. have to hold that. There you go, though. Got to get the uh, free bouncing fish, force him at the ledge. Yep, catch the jump. Off stage with no limit. Nice sweet spot. Yeah, beautiful sweet spot. Still, again, having a problem leaving these ledges. All right, and Boy's going to kind of sit back. Yeah, if he's in a position where he can't just force an edge guard, he's going to try to play it safe. Okay, tech chase? No. Use the A landing to get back safely. Mm, good, good, good punish. Good. Like, pu yeah, punch on the landing there. And waiting out the um, landing option to begin with. But Comer Curry, scouting off these air dodges. Ooh, very good pace for or patient at the ledge. Okay. Oh, wait out the neutral. Yeah, very smart from out. No. Man, oh, that was fish. actually very risky bouncing fish. I actually think he could have just cross flashed it. And a uh, really good pivot cross flash as well. Yeah. Oh. That's both not looking. Fish are up there. Oh, oh nice. Jab. Nice jab. Oh. 
Good dare, run down, beautiful tech. Oh, Gray's still going though. Back and forth here. Ooh, nice. Get the limit charge. Even the grab. Boy dashing with his shield. And now he's at the ledge. One of Kuma Kree's most really comfortable spots. Oh, There's wow. Caught the no, shield drop. Yet. Just barely. Still holding on the limit. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the platform just escorting Boy to center stage. Yep. And he made Kuma Kree burn limit. Yeah. All right. Blessed be time to. Oh, Amazing yeah, recovery trade. from Komori Kiri. He's die, though. Wow, yeah. and he's in a tough Yeah, because he uses though. double jump in the trade. Wow. All right. Really hard fought stock for both players. It's going to go right back to a. Uh, we trade. started, yeah. Okay, cross oh, up up there. So Triple up there. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Caught him on the platform as well. Oh, and yeah. the landing and trap with the cross slash. Max damage. And the air cross slash. So good. Yeah. Pivot as well to catch the landing. Yeah. Nice spacing, some of the best. Yeah. Oh, oh, dash yeah. dance, dice up. Slash. Yep. Dice up, and that is going to be game two. Oh, oh, just on that water. Gonzalo. <laughs> <laughs> Gonzalo Barrios will Gonzalo be proud. Gonzalo is just watching the like, He's like, yeah. It's my boy. <laughs> yeah, it's my boy, man. Sipping on that scissor. Wow. Oh, this is uh, the best I've seen a Cloud Doom versus Boyd, actually. I actually have never seen Boyd lose this matchup. Not once, actually. So to be down 2-0 like this is really big statement to how good this man's cloud is. Cause yeah. one, he's been recovering perfectly pretty much without limit. Yeah. And when he like doesn't have limit, it's so hard to even force him off stage to begin exactly. with. Exactly. So this really, I think that's the main reason why Boy's struggling more than he usually does in this matchup. Yeah, he has a lot of great patience on this. And I think one thing too, he does not. One thing about Kuma Kree that I actually really love is he seldom throws out dares while up there. Despite no. it being such a good tool, like it's a good tool kind of in lower mid level play. But once people, if someone you're playing someone who's high level and they understand the matchup, it becomes a kind of struggle because they'll just hit you from the side every time. They'll punish that freely. But Kuma Kree just never. Never founded his his gameplay on that. Yeah. And I think that just really blows really well. Off the Nares. jump with the neutral air as well. We'll come back and he's gonna I charge love free as yep. Charge for free and get the roll with the pivot at um, cross slash. Yeah, so much damage, man. Almost twenty percent you get from that. And that Clint Hauser was actually amazing. He didn't do that to recover, he did that to actually hit him out of his up yeah. yeah. So good. All right, but first, unsafe narrow on shield is going to give a slight punch, but boy doesn't turn into a, a stock. Go back throw, yeah, tries to go for a bouncing fish. Yeah, but since Kona Kiri's um, recoveries are so perfect without limit, he sweet spotted. If he didn't, that was three bouncing fish. Absolutely. And he's almost has full limit charge. Condition to shield here because he doesn't want to get around his uh, cross slash. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah all, yes. the, all the time in the world to punish that. Boy went for a gamble there with the Vanish and uh, loses his stock for it. Komer Kiri looking like he's on stock point for this tournament. Yep. And you know, the one thing that again is so dangerous with Komer Kiri is that guy will always look and he just cross up up there into max damage punch there. And notice in most situations where Void had died, lost his stock, most most clouds would have burned their meter for that. Yeah. He just went ahead on he's like, all right, I know you percent. See where you're at? I'm just going for an F tilt here. You're going to yeah, die. Yeah, you're right, and actually. I'm going to maintain um, this. And now you're in a very, very bad position. Yeah. A little more oh, damage. God, and God, hit. Yeah, not enough. Not going to be enough, but. The fact that he knew like, that was it. Oh, yeah, caught yeah. the landing again with the cross flash. Cancel out of the limit charge. Boy, in a really bad spot. Yeah, really bad spot here. Yeah, until up air. Yes, that's yeah, going to kill. I'll right. do it, but. Well, it's at 86 percent, but yeah. again, it really comes down to state control, especially in this matchup. Oh, no. He has not been able to get an edge guard, a uh, solid edge guard off on the carry, but and this is if any time for him to do it, it's it's, it's no. Oh, oh yeah. he doesn't have limit. Definitely no. Okay, there's an opportunity. Hey, it's off stage. Oh, oh needle oh. snipe. Oh, he oh, didn't go for the last oh, no, hit. He didn't press anything. Oh, but now he has limit. Oh, man. Tech chase? Oh, no, he caught him back. Yeah, yeah, he wanted the tech chase, but he didn't get it. it. Slipped and right past him. Wow. Got the back. Back air with punish. Yeah, and Homer Carey's going to close it out. And I am, sur I am surprised that when Homer Carey had gone for the, the Clem Hazard, went for that. He had enough time to actually go for a fair or near there, but didn't go for it. And that would have been the stock because he didn't have a jump. No. But for whatever reason, 
no button came out. And I, I think Boyd um, thought that he was dead because he thought he was going to swing second, right? Maybe, maybe he did. But, yeah, I'm really surprised that he actually didn't just push the button there. I definitely feel that was actually – he had gotten the edge guard that he had wanted. But nonetheless, congratulations to congratulations Kobe Kobe Kobe. Close it out. Japan is going to take one here today from SoCal. Yeah. Over their last tournament Kobe out here Kobe for Beijing. now.